You may not be aware that there's a hidden gem tucked away in the hills of Berea. We visited the Berea Country Club and spoke to member Mary Long about the changes that are being made, including their new bar that is now open to the public. Ladies, you no longer have to leave Irvin to shop for the latest fashions. Lula T's Boutique on Main Street has it all. Stay warm with monogram jackets or Sherpas or grab a dress for a night out and get the latest in Simply Southern apparel. Don't forget about the bath bombs and home decor at Lula T's Boutique in Irvin. Oh, we have a ball. We have an absolute ball when we play UK games. Uh, we have a few people that might come up dressed in orange. We ask them politely to leave or <laughs> undress. We have had red t-shirts thrown over the balcony here when people come in in red. But uh, we do, we have a ball. We have an absolute ball. And uh, we've got many TVs in there, big TVs, small TVs. And when we have a big crowd, it's just absolutely awesome. You know, we just have so much fun. <laughs> awesome. So one more time, tell everybody where they can find you, because this is a little bit of a hidden gem. Uh, 102 Churchill Drive, which means you're going to come onto Lorraine Court and you will turn right onto Churchill Drive. What you run into straight ahead is Churchill, which used to be Churchill Weavers. And you continue to come down the hill and it opens up into this gorgeous, isn't it beautiful? I just love it over here. And we want to welcome anybody that would like to come and enjoy it with us. We have certain hours posted for the winter. Uh, and then when summer and spring come on, we'll change those hours. But they'll be posted on the front door. And we'd like to welcome the public to come visit with us. We were also interested in a little bit of the history of the country club, so Mary filled us on some more details regarding that and the changes at the bar regarding alcohol sales. Maria Golf Course uh, was uh, developed in 1950. And it was a concrete block building, and they kept improving the course. And then in 1965, they incorporated everything as Berea Country Club. And that's when the main structure was built. The old structure is still there, but it's in the dark, far back of the building. We are open. It's a beautiful course, nine holes. This past year, it probably looked better than it has in many, many years. We're just excited to let people know that we now have the public facility upstairs. They're more than welcome to come upstairs and have a drink, uh, sit around. We have, of course, dart boards and cornhole and pool, different things. Uh, as far as entertainment up there, we have the big TVs. And uh, we're big on UK uh, basketball, football to somewhat, but most of the time it's basketball for us. And um, in fact, Speaking of football, we're getting ready to do the Super Bowl party. And at that point in time, we have a chili cook-off. We have a contest, and I've won it several times, and then a friend of mine, Sue Hunt, has won it several times. Uh, we have a friend, Greg Prater, he won it one year with a white chili. But we have a lot going on, and it's a really nice facility. You can rent it if you want to. Um, we have a nice dance floor, which has been remodeled. Of course, there's no smoking now because we are a public bar. We applied for a liquor license and we did get, we do not have to serve food to serve alcohol. That is just because we are a golf course. The other locations in town do have to serve food if they're going to serve alcohol. And we do have three or four different locations in town that do that. But if you just want to come have that one beer and go home after you unwind, you do not have to buy food. And I can't wait for you to see it once the fairways are green and the trees have started budding out. It's just gorgeous. The public can now soak in the views at the Berea Country Club tucked away behind Churchill Weavers in Berea. For WBON-TV, I'm Marissa Hempel.